All right, guys. Here is my big box of Premier yarns. It is pretty heavy. I just got it yesterday. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to open it up here. And then I'm going to slide it over to the side because it's really big. All right. So let's open this baby up. Let's see. What I got? Okay. So there's the yarn. Get a nice little peek at it. There we go. So get my out, my invoice out. And then I'm going to slide it. So I'm going to cut this off right here. Okay, now that I'm back up here on my workstation and my box is over out to the side, it's a pretty big box. So, while everybody else was taking advantage of the bobbins, I decided to take advantage of the uh, different one. So the ones that I took advantage of was the Uptown Baby Sport. Let me take one out. Let's see. I got the Kringlin, but hey, it's pretty yarn. So I have never used this before, so I'm not sure. I didn't really want to rip the bag, so I'm just going to pull one out. Oh, this is soft. It's very soft. I guess I won't have to rip the bag. Okay. So let's read the specs on this. So I think I got three of every color there was. So this is called Universal Yarn. It's from Universal Yarn. It's Uptown baby sport it has a little sheen on it i don't know if you can see it there's a sheen on it it's an anti-peeling um it's a 3.5 ounce 100 grams there's 361 yards in here 330 meters and it's considered a fine um I would say that's a true too. It also says if you do, if you knit with it, it says use a size 4 or a 3.5 millimeter. Or if you crochet, it tells you how many um, 24 single crochets times 28 rows equals 4 inches is your gauge. And it says use a G6, a 4 millimeter there. This is the reason why I bought it. One, that it's anti-peeling. And two, it's a machine wash journal and you can tumble dry it. Okay? So, yeah. So, the name on this one is... Is T. Rose. So, like I said, I got three of them. And I like their little slogan. Knit, relax, smile, and repeat. I would say crochet, relax, smile, and repeat. So there's the pink. And I probably will run out of room. Because like I said, I got one of every color there was. Or three of every color. So I'm not going to take them all out. I'm just going to show you the blue. This is the blue. And this one is called Little Boy. And it's a pretty blue, too. And they all do have a, a little sheen to them, which I kind of like that. So let's see if we have an avalanche. This one is a, um, it says violet. But I do like the color. That's a pretty good description of it. Okay. Then we have 
cherry. And that looks pretty good too. Boy, my camera's being good tonight. Okay. And then this one is called Turquoise. And that's pretty true. Yep. And of course, this one is just black. Uh, well, it says wither, but it's a black. Yep, so there's a black. Here is this one is called Maiden. And that's pretty nor that's that's a true color right there. Okay. Here we go with this one. Looks like a mint green, but it's called seafoam. And that's pretty, really pretty. Seafoam. And this one is called silver. That's a pretty gray. Yeah. So, probably going to be blocking my light. Alright. This one is called This one is called Princess. It's a very light purple. You guys, the colors are true to form, really. I did get four of white because I don't know about anybody else, but has anybody ran into the problem of finding white? And I'm talking about white being white, not a, um, uh, see it says white, but this has got a little, um, oh, what do they call that? Antique white is what it looks like to me. I have, I ran into that problem uh, a couple months ago when I went and got some white and got it home and it was like an off white. But I have not found a white, white yet. It's been a while. So there's white, so-called white. This one is called silver blue. This one is called Jade. I'm telling you those colors are very just like it. Okay, and one more. This one is Carolina. <laughs> Carolina blue, that's what it reminds me of. And these colors are so vibrant. And I think I'm going to enjoy these yarns. Um, the bad thing about it is they're discontinued now. So I got these at $1.99. And hey, I figured at 361 yards for $1.99, that's a seal. So if they have any more, I might buy some more. Now the thing about it, I was a little upset two because I ordered these October the 10th I mean November the 10th sorry November the 10th they just got here yesterday 
but I had an order from Lithuania at Valrita, Valrita, and it got here in 10 days. So far away got here quicker than what's here, and I think they're coming from, was it North Carolina? Let me see. Yeah, from, uh, maybe in Turkey. Virginia. I think it's coming from Virginia. Either way, it took a long time to get here. But, oh my goodness, I think I'm in love with all of these. So, I'm looking forward to see what I make with them. These are just stunning colors, and they're so vibrant that you couldn't go wrong with 361 yards for $1.99. So, I hope you enjoy this. Um, if they're still on sale, take advantage of it. And I will see you on my next yarn haul. Thanks for watching.